How's it guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought I would come back and do a Michael Jackson related video for you. I haven't done a solely Michael Jackson related video in a while. So yeah, what I've done is I've compiled a list of my top 10 favourite Michael Jackson albums. Um, no, top 10 favourite Michael Jackson short films. And I thought I would rank them today for you. Uh, please again, as always, let me know in the comments your favourites. And again, please subscribe to my channel. It really makes a difference. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers this year, which I know isn't even a lot in the grand schemes of things, but for me, it is. And it would make my little day if you could do that. So yes, please do that. At number 10, I have the short film um, for the Leave Me Alone music video release on the Bad album. I really like this short film because it is sort of my, the first time we see Michael clapping back at the media and the awful things that have was starting to be said about him um, and I really like the way it's sort of filmed as well the production and, and everything in the video is is really really cool I really like the references as well to the video and you really do in this video notice the small things the small sort of things that are sort of happening on in the background that were definitely intentional and to make a point I really like that I really like at the end of the video when Michael is obviously this sort of giant and then they're building like a, a carnival around him and then he gets up and he breaks it all um to sort of say like i am not the butt of your jokes i'm not here to be made fun of yeah for that reason i really enjoyed this video next up we have the video for smooth criminal obviously from moonwalker the album bad everything like that um i really like this video because it is such a well choreographed and directed video I like the little story that it tells alongside as they always do in michael's videos um, I just love the dance break. It's the first time we see that infamous lean, the moonwalk, everything's there. Fantastic dance breaks. And Michael in the iconic Smooth Criminal outfit is a really great, great, great short film. I would recommend watching if you never have. At number eight, it's almost the modern day version of Smooth Criminal is the short film for You Rock My World released um, from the Invincible album, which came out in 2001. I really, really like this video. You've got some really famous names in there. You've got Chris Tucker, Michael Madsen, is that his name? I'm going to say that's his name. I might not say that correctly. Um, yeah, it's a really fantastic video. Again, similar to Smooth Criminal in the setup and everything, where it's shot, it's like a modern day version of that, which I don't know if that is the intention, but if it is, it works really, really well. And again, has a fantastic dance break as well and Chris Tucker is hilarious and it's nice that there's sort of like comedic values being brought in to, to keep it up to you know modern standards and things like that and keep it a bit different as well so yeah I really really like that short film. Next up we have the short film music video for Man in the Mirror um, a lot more dramatic and serious and real than the other videos on this list um, I really really like this short film because uh, it brings a lot of things to light um, trying to you know influence change at, at the time um and it is sort of a sign of the times when you watch it now to see what was going on then and what's happening now um it's a really sad video um but it is important and i think that's what michael always tried to do with his music and with his power is to to influence change and you know look at yourself and, and make the change and things like that um, but yeah, it has to be on the list because it's a fantastic little video. And number six, I have the video for They Don't Care About Us. The prison version is great, but I'm going to be talking about the sort of the main version that was released. Um, I think where it's shot in Brazil and it is stunning. Um, you can actually go and visit their um, popular Michael Jackson YouTuber, MJ Fangirl, actually visited there. And it's really, really cool to see her walking around and, and experiencing everything. I'll leave that in the description as well. It's really, really cool. Um, I love everything about this video. It's so, so good. Um, very much he's sort of appreciating different cultures um, and not appropriating them, um, which is good. <laughs> Just a beautiful message. It's a great song. It's obviously about racism, um, prejudice that he's always experienced in his life and that he's obviously showing that a lot of people do. Um, and it's again, it's that fighting back Michael that we sort of got in his later career which I really, really like, and it is a fantastic video. Next up at number five, we have Earth Song, another one that really, from the History album, trying to influence change, show you the, the damages of the climate change even, um, and just so many different things, global warming, everything, hunting, just so so many things coming, coming to light in this video. I think Earth Song is almost apocalyptic in the way that in the end of the video, he's just in ash, you know, singing everything's on fire, set ablaze. 
um, sort of showing you what the future is gonna be like if we don't make that change, echoing Man in the Mirror. It's a really visually fantastic, stellar video. Um, and again, one of the most uh, famous ones. And number four, we have the iconic and probably the most infamous uh, short film on the whole list, which is Thriller. Thriller really changed the game for short films for music videos back uh, when it was released in 83, 82, 83. Um, just a fantastic video, really, really great. The dance break, the story, the cheesy 80-ness of the whole thing. Um, I absolutely love it and I absolutely love this video, the song, everything about it, the twist at the end, just, just everything is so, so fun. Um, directed by the legend John Landis um, from obviously the best-selling album of all time, Thriller. Um, it's just everything works so well and it really shot Michael into the fame and stardom that he was always destined to be in. And number three, a personal favourite of mine is the video for Scream, another one from the history era. History really produced a lot of great uh, short films and, and creativity from Michael, which I really, really like. Scream obviously made with his sister Janet is meant to be the most expensive music video ever made, especially at the time, I think it totaled at $9 million, which is crazy money for a video, considering it runs no longer than sort of five to six minutes. Um, the dance breaks, again, as always, incredible. The The wait for these two to do a song together and a video together was probably so long that by the time it came, people were gonna love it no matter what, um, but it is a fantastic song. It's an amazing, amazing video. Um, I like the message. Again, it's that Michael fighting back with his sister Janet. Um, they're just an, an, un, an unbeatable duo um, and I really, really like the video, the effects at the time. Everything was so ahead of its time and ahead of the game um, that really nothing compared to it and still doesn't really compare to it. It's, yeah, flawless. And number two, people probably don't expect this to see this so high, but for me, it's such a nostalgic video, is the Remember the Time video from uh, Dangerous. I love this video for so many reasons. It's got, obviously, Iman, Eddie Murphy, Michael in it. Has tells a really sweet story, um, but it just has one of my all-time favourite dance breaks ever in a video. Um, obviously, at the end, where, like, they're all sort of lined up, and it, it's just that really funky video and the dance, and it just goes on for a bit and you're not even mad about it because it's just so good um and it's just the effects everything is just perfect yeah i don't know i just get a nostalgic vibe from it dangerous produced some of the greatest short films jam uh black or white in the closet who is it so many that i wanted to put on this list but there's just too many but remember the time definitely is one of my favorites especially from that era and at number one my favorite ever short film is the short film for ghosts again from the blood and the dance for history era um such an incredible short film i think it is like thriller 2.0 it's the modern day thriller um but again just so much better i love the story I love the visual effects, the dance break, uh, it has the song Too Bad in the extended short film as well, which I really, really like. Um, and I just love everything about it. Michael loved horror. He loved horror videos and obviously John Landis and um, a werewolf in, werewolf in London, I think it was, that inspired Thriller. Um, obviously still showing his inspiration here. I love that Michael was actually the actor of two people in this short film, obviously being Michael Jackson and the like older big guy that's my description of him because I don't know his name um yeah it's just a fantastic fantastic short film that you definitely have to watch whether you are a Michael fan or not you can definitely appreciate the talent and skill of this video but yeah that was my top 10 favorite Michael Jackson videos all ranked let me know your rankings of your top 10 favorite Michael Jackson short films in the comments below and I will see you in my next video goodbye yeah!